I am just not. So we're gonna push through. Like my whole world just like moves. Good morning, guys. I just showered. I know the lighting must be like the worst thing ever, but this morning, I don't know why I decided to shower with cold water. I've been feeling a little sick lately with like everything going on. So I don't know why I decided to do this and highly recommend I feel alive right now. We're gonna do everything that makes me happy and I ask you guys what your favorite breakfast, lunch and dinner was so I'm gonna pick one of those and we're gonna have an amazing day also hobbies and ways to spend your day alone so we're gonna combine all of that and we're gonna have an amazing day today because I need it, okay? I need to bring some joy to my life uh, lately I have, as I told you, not been feeling my best. Every day I feel like it's a different symptom. I don't want to be on social media today. I think I'm going to take a break from social media today. And we're going to have an amazing day together. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> took my phone and guess what it didn't charge all night it didn't charge i don't know why i don't know what happened so i don't have a phone right now we're gonna go to my yoga class and yes i get ready for yoga i put on my makeup and everything because my yoga class is at the gym and what if it's like there's like a cute guy or something um and not only for guys, but for me. I like to get ready for me and like feel cute for me, for myself. I also wanted to do the podcast today, but I really don't know what to talk about. So I don't know if I'm going to wait for it or what. Mm. So yeah, I really have no idea what to do. This is my mom's perfume. I love using my mom's perfume smells like her and I love her smell so I'm gonna put some of this and we're gonna go to yoga I'm gonna put my wait this is the necklace that I got like a few years ago it says Danny it was a small company from Hawaii and people ask me uh, on my DMs like yours um, where do you get it and I try to look it up the company that I got it from and I couldn't, I think they closed, unfortunately. So that's very sad. What else do I need to tell you guys? I'm super nervous about tomorrow, like nervous. And I really want to know what's going on with my body. Cause I don't know, every day feels like a new thing. So one day it hurt a lot in here and you guys, I was crying so bad that day. That was one of the worst days. The other day, uh, which was like Sunday, my hand was feeling numb like completely numb and it just didn't feel right. I also felt like crying, but I didn't cry because numbness like didn't make me cry, but like the pain that I was feeling last time, that made me cry. Yesterday, I was feeling like my, my, my hand was fine yesterday, but I was feeling so fatigued. I was feeling so tired and like drained, but like not tired of like, I didn't sleep well, I'm tired. No. Guys, this tired that I feel is like completely different. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. And I felt like, I still feel it, like my throat is like closed. And I feel super anxious and like fatigue. And I feel like in here, let me show you, in here, I feel like needles going in there or like ants moving in there on both legs that was yesterday today feels a little tight so like i feel like every day i have like a different thing oh i have chills so i'm like sitting right there and i'm just having like a chill like this and then sometimes i i get like i sit down and i feel like my whole world just like moves so it's just like it's a lot of things and i'm just like I really know that I have something, but I don't know what it is. And I really just hope that it isn't something like bad, like serious. And it's just like maybe a virus, maybe, I don't know, something not serious. And my brother got in the shower 
and then that my doctor can just give me some pills or something so that I can feel better that's all that I want okay so plan of the day I don't know what to do but uh, we're gonna try okay we're gonna give our best because yesterday wasn't the best day ever because I was feeling weird in myself I haven't been able to feel like myself lately and I really want to just feel like myself this is literally a block of me trying to put myself together mm, let's try <clears throat> We are on our way to yoga. I do not have a tripod for my car, so that's why I'm holding you. Maybe we can buy a tripod for my car because I think I will start vlogging more this year with like going out. But we will see. <laughs> So I really wanted to start my day with a little yoga. Honestly, the class that I was going to go is more of like a stretching and it's like very short, but it's full. And I didn't make like a reservation because I didn't know that I was going to come. So I guess no yoga for me. We're gonna go home and have breakfast. <laughs> That's so sad. I really wanted to like stretch and like show you guys like a little stretch session, but I guess not. We're gonna go home now and pick one of the breakfast ideas. Can someone please explain to me why do I have to be so hard on myself? Why am I so hard on myself? I don't know, like this whole yoga thing literally threw me off because I really wanted to make this vlog like doing things that make me happy and whatever and this stressed me out and then I'm like, oh my God, this whole vlog is gonna be a failure and I don't know why I'm doing this. Why, I don't know. Why am I so hard on myself? I was this close on like deleting all the footage that I just got. <sighs> and waiting the perfect video to come and be the perfect video with like the yoga class and stuff like that but you know what we're gonna still do the video we'll we're gonna still block today because why not i am trying to make myself feel happier because lately i haven't been feeling like myself at all i don't want to cry i want this block to be a happy one so we're not but with all my health i haven't been feeling like myself at all i have zero energy to do anything um uh, feel so drained all day and some days it's very painful and uh, not knowing what you have is the worst uh so we're gonna push through and we're gonna do our best and just this whole situation has been so humbling for me um Cause I'm always like go 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 and doing stuff and being productive and this has literally made me feel so tired to the point where I don't really want to like even I don't know write on my phone or do anything write any caption like I used to even post Instagram um, pictures and like stuff and write long captions and do graphics on Canva and right now I just take my phone and I'm just like drained like my eyes hurt and like my hand hurts and it's just I don't want to do this right now and I don't want to complain anymore so we're gonna make this a happy vlog or like I don't know I don't even want to lie like why would I I'm in between like do I want to like be honest and say how I truly feel and like risk people thinking that I am complaining all the time or negative all the time or do I want to put a smile on and just like pretend that I'm happy so that people get positive vibes from me but this is my reality okay this is what's going on right now I am trying my best to keep myself happy and positive so this is the block of exactly that trying to keep myself happy and positive and doing the things that i know that it will make me feel better so no yoga maybe we will do some stretching at home uh we will see i need to meditate <laughs> the weather is definitely not helping right now like why why summer needs to come now with you. Ooh, this is hot. 
Okay guys, uh, so this is how it looks like. It actually looks very good. I'm super excited. I have tried before, um, so I know how it tastes like, but you definitely should try it if you haven't. I am very glad that you guys said that you also like journaling because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I need to put a lot of feelings in there today. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're also gonna have this yummy croissant. Mm-hmm. It's so good. You guys need to try it. This is also the new book that I'm reading. And I can relate to so many things. And I'll probably make a podcast about it. Like actually make a research about the philosopher Andrew Taggart. <sighs> because this is what it says right here really made me think and realize that I am in a existential opening. I will talk about it in the podcast if I can next time. Ah. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you. Uh, we're going on a trip for my mom's birthday and that's like in two weeks and i'm actually so excited because this is going to be literally my first trip that i'm not like sick mentally it makes me feel so happy because it has been like nine years without me having like a proper vacation of like vacation i literally went to hilton head last time and i talk about this in the past but you guys i even made my parents look for a gym near the place we were staying at because I wanted to go to the gym or like I wanted to. I felt like I had to work out on vacation because it was a week. Like what the hell? Um, So this is literally going to be my first trip that I'm not thinking about anything like that. And I also broke my scale to that trip, which is stupid. Mm. My parents and my friend, they try like a pastry, like a bakery, and I didn't. They tried many foods, and I didn't. This is gonna be the first trip that I'm actually super excited to like do everything, stay with my parents, with my family, and engage in conversations. And I feel like this is gonna be like so amazing. Even last year, I didn't go on any trip at all. I didn't, I stay at home all year. But yeah, let's just eat right now and like journal I needed to do something with my taxes, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished doing the little thing that I had to do with the taxes, and now I'm ready to do something else. And I was reading through your responses, and the sun came out, if you can tell, and it's amazing. And I decided to do two things. I picked two of those. We're going to, one, go for a walk because I feel like that will help me a lot with my mental health right now and make me feel a little bit better because I feel a little bit, I don't know how to explain it. I feel, mm, sleepy kind of. Um, so I wanna like wake myself up with the sun and just do all of that. Okay guys. We got to the mall. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna buy to her. I have no idea what she likes. We're like, I know what she likes, but sometimes she doesn't like what I buy. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try our best to find something that she will use or that I think she will use, but let's go. I feel like this is gonna make me feel better. Also, I put on some jeans. Um, 
because I didn't want to be in shorts at the mall. She has no idea that I'm buying something for her today, but that's exciting. I love giving gifts, so let's go. You guys, I'm gonna be honest and say that I don't know what to buy to her and I think the best idea would be to bring her with me even if it's not like surprise she'll be able to pick something that she actually enjoys and that she actually likes so <laughs> I don't know this is like okay it was good to get out of the house and like be in a new environment you know but I don't think I'll be able to buy anything for her. I don't want to buy anything that she's not going to wear or she doesn't like. So I think I'm actually going to bring her with me on the weekend and like tell her to pick something up so that I can give her for her birthday. Even if it's not a surprise, I will know for sure that it's something that she likes and that she needs. My dad does the same. My dad actually um, always, always takes her to buy her gifts because my mom is very, like she has a very a specific taste in clothes and stuff. So I think that's what we're gonna do. This was a little pointless, but at the same time it's not because uh, it got me out of the house and to actually see other people and that's cool. So not bad, but definitely not what i expected <laughs> okay i'm back for lunch and i was looking at your responses and honestly i don't really know what to pick because i'm trying not to go out and spend money and i'm trying to use what i have so i don't know i'm gonna pick one right now maybe if i close my eyes and i put a, this one pepperoni and salami sandwich i don't need pepperoni or salami and i don't have that so <laughs> ah soup with turkish bread i don't have turkish bread oh my gosh this has to be for another video i found real chip buns i have two left so i'm gonna have a burger with pickles and mushrooms and ketchup and mustard it's gonna be awesome i still need to recover from another love oh, would you be here for me never met your parents not even your mother but let's see where this leads ah, it actually looks so good i'm so excited to try it Mm-hmm. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna watch some YouTube in the meantime. Per usual. What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart in my I tend to like ask you guys a lot about what should I make because literally like I wanna share my life and everything and I want to inspire you but I also want to know like what do you guys want to watch or want me to talk about and you guys have so many good ideas I'm like but this one is sex and eating disorders I have zero knowledge zero in sex okay I have zero never had a boyfriend in my life so I don't think I'm the best to ask for this nomination pick somebody else Pick somebody else. I don't I'm not I'm not addressing this crowd right now. Please pick somebody else. I am just not. What if this breaks your little heart in my What should we do? Let's just find a pretty blue jeans and me. But I This it's the next activity to do now. Okay, to be honest, I wanted to record a podcast, but I decided not to because, I don't know, I don't feel like I have the mental capacity right now to do it. I usually record on Tuesdays, but I'm not feeling the best today, and 
I was thinking about it and maybe I can like give an update on the podcast about like my doctor's appointment tomorrow so I will leave that for tomorrow afternoon after my doctor's appointment I think that will be better and actually right now I'm gonna do two things I'm gonna do pay by numbers and I also ask you guys to give me your favorite movies so I'm gonna look it up and see if I can find a movie I enjoy or like I don't even know if I enjoy it because I've never watched it but we're gonna find a movie that it's like on Netflix or something like that that I've never watched and I'm gonna give my opinion on it and we're gonna watch it while I do my paint by numbers if you have never done paint by numbers please do because I think it's one of the best hobbies ever I literally love it so much where is it okay it's right here okay so i think we're gonna watch eat pray love i'll never watch it so we're gonna watch it right now let's see what is up with this movie and let's paint Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee's Okay, so I got a little hungry and I just made a yogurt bowl while I continue to paint In a coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home with you I know. my mom just called me and she wants me to go with her because she needs to get some stuff done for her car so i guess we need to pause and i'm gonna take this with me to go i guess mm. guys we decided to get some ice cream what's your favorite favorite I like the coffee. The coffee. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay, my mom got coffee as well. And my dad got banana. So Deo, yo sé, pero es por molestarte. ¿Qué querías café? One out of ten de una diez cuánto le das al el a yes. yes. My dad is gonna try his and he's gonna tell us how it is I also got um coffee ice cream de una diez papa nueve this is really good okay guys um we came to TG Max. I think that we will spend a lot of time in here. Maybe I'll ask my mom if she wants me to buy her something right now. She loves TG Maxx, so maybe she will. Came back a little bit ago and I decided to make a quick dinner. A lot of you guys were telling me how you guys eat for dinner salmon. Like a lot of you guys eat salmon for dinner, so I decided to make salmon with avocado and a lot of you guys told me sweet potato which I'm very glad because it's my favorite food peas, carrots and avocado so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight and then after this I'm just gonna go and I don't know watch a movie or something I love this combination it's literally the best Okay, so we're gonna watch a movie, the movie that I told you guys about, but this is gonna be my snack. This is this protein powder that I love with almond milk, 
and then in here I have this cookies they're so good I love them I have peanut butter banana and this is actually this it names cookie dove brownie butter and that's gonna be all for today now I'm gonna go watch the movie and try to relax before tomorrow but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope this made you feel a little bit better if you're struggling with food and that's it I love you guys guys I wanted to show you the movie that we're watching is that one war of the words and here's the snack caroni that's gonna be all I love you guys